Hi, so I want to also give you some proposal writing tips for this week. You'll be writing this week the executive summary, which I recommend that you write last, then the evaluation section, the sustainability section, and the conclusion. Those are actually some of the easier parts of this proposal to write. So sustainability. Um, actually, let me do evaluation first. Evaluation is basically how will you tell the foundation that you accomplished doing what you said you were going to do. Now the evaluation section is made much, much easier to write if you put some smart, measurable goals in your project description. So it's likely that you're going to write your evaluation and be like, oh no, I got to change some stuff in the proposal description and the project description. And that's actually often the case in uh, for all fun, uh, grant writers that they have to go back and tweak something. So evaluation is pretty simple. Count how many people did you serve, how did you reach them, how are you going to know that you did that, and who's going to do it, what staff member is going to do it. You are not going to be hiring external, external evaluators for most of your proposals because they're too small for that. Um, but that one, keep it simple and keep it numeric. In terms of sustainability, sustainability is how you are going to continue uh, that program after grant funding is done. So XYZ Foundation does not want to be a perpetual funder. They want you to find other funding once you get the program started, expanded, whatever it is that you're doing. So an easy way to write sustainability is to say you're going to go to some of the other foundations that you found in your foundation center research that you did several weeks ago. So just list a few of those foundations and say, we're gonna continue this program beyond grant funding by going to other funders. It's, it, don't make it more complicated than it is. Now, the conclusion and the executive summary, the conclusion is the last thing you say before the, you walk out the door. So you're just gonna be inspirational, you're gonna to connect to the foundation's interests and you're gonna make it impactful on the world, on the community you're serving. The executive summary is basically an encapsulate, and that the executive that's going to be at the end of your proposal. The executive summary you're going to submit, you're going to put that in the front of your proposal, and basically that's an encapsulation of the entire proposal in two or three paragraphs. You're going to say everything. You're going to say who you are, why you're so good at what you do, why there's a need in the community, why your program is going to solve that, and how it connects to the foundation interest. Put that all in a very short, succinct, punchy way. The thing about the executive summary, and that's going to go at the first part of your, uh, of your proposal, the thing about the executive summary is that it may be the only thing that your reviewer reads. Okay, And so you want to know you've put the most important sellable uh, things in that section of the proposal so that if it is the only thing they read, they really know what you're doing and why this proposal should go into the examine further pile instead of the no, we're not interested pile. So that's a really critical section of your proposal. So those are some tips for this week. Um, and I look forward to seeing your full proposals at the end of the week. Have a good week.